welcome back to Yoshi Entertainment, everybody. So apparently, just recently, Doja Cat must have lost her ever begotten mind because of all the goofy stuff she's been doing lately. Well, now, let me be honest. She's been doing goofy stuff, not just as of late, but to be honest, really as of the last couple of years, I want to say. But anyways, as of recent, she's lost something along the lines of about 400,000 followers and multiple fan pages deactivated themselves because of the just rude and disrespectful way she's been talking to her fans, responding to her fans. And it truly begs the question, well, the questions, what happened? Where did it go wrong? Where did she fall off, so to speak? And in a previous video, I said it's always good to start from the beginning. Do y'all remember a while back when somehow a video of her in those chat rooms made it to the internet? And I know a lot of people said, well, she can do whatever she wants to. She's an adult. She's grown. If that's what she wants to do, why are you bothering her about it? But to be honest with y'all, 100%, it was disturbing. It was giving, um, has some deep-rooted issues, especially where it comes to race. That's what it was giving to me. You know, I could be wrong, but that's what it was giving to me. Then there was that video of her meeting her father, I guess for the first time, if I'm not mistaken. And it was just really weird and awkward, I'm gonna be honest, because it seemed like one of those situations where he really did not care about her at all. Like he, I don't even think, like I said, that he had met her before then. And he didn't seem real enthusiastic about meeting her at that point. You know what I'm saying? Like you would think, oh wow, this is my daughter Doja Cat. Like I want to be excited. Like even if he didn't care about her before she was famous, you would think he would care about her now, which is still raggedy, but you would think he would care about her now. Like I said, he didn't seem enthusiastic at all to meet her. And while she wasn't necessarily jumping for joy, she did seem to like, you know, want to be like, hey, I'm your daughter. What's up? You know what I'm saying? But it just seemed like there was a lot of emotion that was not there that should have been. A connection that was not there that should have been. And like I said, it was just, it was disturbing to me again. I'm gonna be honest. Then if I'm not mistaken, and if I remember correctly, she had to deal with a lot of people throwing shade at her and being mad at her, the audacity of these people, because she was dating a young white man at the time. And then people were trying to spread rumors, I guess, saying that, oh, well, because her father clearly didn't care about her, it wasn't in her life. That's why she doesn't like black men and why she dates white men. Like I said, that's, you know, that's an accusation. That's an allegation. I don't think it was right to put that out there about her because nobody knows her personally. Like I said, I was getting some vibes from her. But to go that far, especially if she hasn't said anything about it, I felt was, you know, kind of out there to be completely honest. But like I said, she had to deal with that. Then there was that one time where for whatever reason, she got in her feelings for real. And she ripped this one woman on YouTube to shreds. She was talking about, I don't remember what this lady's name was, but she was talking about different celebrities and how to, I guess, tell if they've had plastic surgery or whatever, you know, but a lot of celebrities, they do get really, you know, like I said, up in their feelings when it comes to that kind of stuff, which they really need to work on, but that's another topic for another video. And she had mentioned briefly Doja Cat's name, talking about, oh, I think she might have gotten like a rhinoplasty or something like that. The woman didn't actually say anything bad or negative about Doja Cat, but like I said, she took it so personally, she ripped this woman unnecessarily like mean girl type energy to shreds. And a lot of this woman's followers were calling her out. Even some of Doja Cat's followers were saying that was completely unnecessary how you handled that situation and what you said about that woman. Then you had that one time where she was overseas somewhere doing a performance or a tour or something like that and she had got mad because her followers wanted her to come out of the hotel room and I guess wave goodbye to them as she was like leaving you know that place and there was supposed to be like a monsoon or something like that coming over that area so she didn't want to risk anybody's health or safety by having them out there for her but then it turned into old oh, Doja Cat doesn't like to say hi to her fans when she's in the states you know she goes out there she'd be like signing books and you know giving people high fives but she didn't want to come and see us and then to make things worse it didn't even rain the way that they said or claimed it was supposed to and then she just like I said took it personally and just blew up and was basically like I'm gonna quit music because you know one moment y'all are out here talking about I'm not out here with the fans and then if I would have had everybody out there while it was raining then y'all would have said I'm putting people in jeopardy you know and all this kind of stuff and like I said she was talking about quitting music and everybody was like okay so when you about to do that you about to do that right now you serious about that and then she was like nah that's stupid I can't do it right now you know I got I got contracts to fulfill and all this kind of stuff so she couldn't actually quit music at that point then someone had pointed out the fact that she had worked with the music producer or manager of some sort who happened to be the same guy actually that Kesha, the singer, accused allegedly of sexually and mentally abusing her. And you know, some people felt a kind of way about that, about her working with him. 
Then there was that moment where she shaved her head and everybody was, you know, asking her, was she all right? And, you know, inquiring about her sanity. And then she made a video basically dragging everybody, making everybody seem like they were stupid for worrying about her. Nobody should have to apologize or be ripped to shreds by you for showing concern when you're displaying behavior that is concerning. Like, you know, we were only concerned because the last time, you know, a, a woman star did something like that, shaved her head off. It was because she was literally losing her mind because of things she was going through. But that's been the pattern as of late for, for Doja Cat. Doing something crazy, saying something crazy, and then talking about people for showing concern or asking her why she did what she did and pointing out how crazy it actually was. Then you had that moment where she had got in contact with one of the youngest members of the cast of the show Stranger Things. Forgot what his name was. She was all up in this boy's DMs. And mind you, at the time, this boy was 17. I don't know if he's had a birthday yet, but he was 17 at the time. So a minor, basically. She was in a minor's DMs on Instagram asking him what was the Instagram handle of one of his other co-stars, the guy who played Eddie in the series. I forgot what his name was, too. And everybody was questioning her about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, she's a grown woman. She's almost 30. Why were you in this child's DMs when a simple Google search would have helped you find that information? Or you could have literally went to like the producer or anybody else, a part of the cast who wasn't underage. Now you can say what you want to say. Oh, well, she didn't mean anything by it. But again, these celebrities, they know that they don't have the luxury of doing and saying stupid stuff because it's going to look back bad on them tenfold. And if she didn't want to look like a shady individual who you know, messes around with children. Y'all know what I'm talking about. She shouldn't have been all up in that boy's DMs. And it also made her look really desperate. That's just what I'm going to say. I'm trying to be nice. Then there are the most recent things where she's getting all these tattoos of, you know, demonic and devilish stuff. You know, she has all this demonic imagery all on her, you know, accounts and, you know, these pictures that she's taken. Just doing really weird stuff. And like I said, moving a lot in the demonic. When people call her out about it, again, like I said before, she calls everybody crazy. Well, I can do what I want. Maybe you're the weird one. No, sis, I think it's you this time. Then, like I said, the most recent thing, you know, we, we led all the way up to here, her just going in on her fans, ripping her fans, being disrespectful towards them. If I understood the situation correctly, her fans unanimously decided they wanted to call themselves the kittens. I actually thought it was a pretty witty idea, considering the fact that, you know, her name is Doja Cat. You know, her whole gimmick is like a cat, etc., feline stuff. She was dressed in a whole feline cat, you know, outfit for the Met Gala at one time. And this is not unnatural for fans to do. You know, the Beehive, Queen Bee, Beyonce. I don't know how they came up with the Navy for the Rihanna Navy group, but you have the Believers, which are the, you know, Justin Bieber people, you know, you have the Barty Gang. The Barb's because, you know, Nicki Minaj has the whole Barbie thing she's been going with for years now. So like I said, as you can see by the plethora, the multitude, if you will, of examples, this is pretty normal for fan groups to do this. And like I said, I thought it was pretty witty and I thought she would actually like it. But whenever she first saw it, her response was basically to proceed to treat these people like they were stupid fools for coming up with this. That, amongst other things, caused a whole fallout between her and a lot of her followers and fans on social media. She was going back and forth and the comment section of social media platforms with these people and she was acting real indifferent and detached I might say with these individuals and a lot of people were saying you know well she doesn't owe these people you know because you know there was one time where there were some people like I said they were tweeting or uh, somewhere on Instagram I don't know and they made a post saying oh we love you Doge Cat she was like okay Ann and I was like wow that's cold-blooded and they were basically like well is, is it gonna take anything away from you to say you love us too there have been celebrities who have done that, you know, before anybody thinks it's weird. And she was like, no, I'm not going to do that. I don't know you people. You're not my mom. And they basically said, but we said we love you to you. And she basically just showed them that she did not give one flying flip. This then sparked the conversation of, does she owe these people anything? Does she owe them a, hey, I love you guys. You know what I'm saying? Does she owe them? What does she owe them? You know, these are just her fans. And like I said before, there's the truth and then there's blatant lies. Now, I don't believe somebody, you know, a celebrity owes a fan like, oh, if, if, you know, a certain amount of people support them, like what we've seen in the past, like let's say a certain demographic supports this celebrity, then they feel entitled to that celebrity. And they're like, oh, you can't, you can't go do nothing for nobody else. Or um, if you get married, you have to marry one of us. That's absolutely ridiculous. Like I said, I've seen people do that in the past and I don't think that's right at all. 
that's not okay and she does not or he does not as a celebrity owe them whoever they decide to get in a relationship with or if the celebrities are asked to do something crazy like for example I know this is an extreme example but bear with me the fans say hey we support you. We buy your music. You're going to do whatever we say do. We want you to strip butt naked and go skinny dipping on live Instagram. That's ridiculous and unreasonable. Now, if the person wants to do that, which they should not want to do that, and let me just be honest, then that's a different story. But to try and make somebody do something that, you know, they don't want to do that's unreasonable and not right, no, that's not okay. Now, what she does owe them, no questions asked, is at least respect. Okay, these people went out to their jobs, you know, their nine to fives, their regular jobs while she's out here in the limelight. You know, I know she's got to deal with some stuff behind the scenes, but she's out here, you know, in the limelight. They're going to their regular average jobs that most people don't even like because it's raggedy. The conditions are raggedy. They're not getting paid enough. Some people are barely scraping by and they're going out and taking their hard earned dollars and giving it to her, supporting her, buying her music, going to her shows because they believe in her, they like her music. They wanna see her succeed. So yes, the least that she owes them is respect. And it's not taking anything away from her, if I'm being completely honest, to tell them, listen, I love you guys. Y'all support me, y'all come out here, y'all buy my music, you come to my shows, okay? Y'all the ones that's keeping this you know, show on the road, so to speak. And lastly, one of the main things she was being confronted about as of recent was this guy who she's in a relationship with. I don't remember that man's name at all. All I know is that he was like a Twitch streamer, apparently, who didn't have a large following. And so a lot of her followers thought it was kind of confusing and weird that she would pick him and not like another celebrity, I guess, who is at her same, you know, prestige, if you will. Not to say that he's not good enough for her or whatever. That's just what her fans, you know, were saying, like, why didn't you go get with like another celebrity or whatever? But this guy apparently, allegedly, has been accused of being abusive and manipulative. Apparently, there was a whole like Twitch community that he was a part of that he was, like I said, being abusive towards people in that community. And they were calling him out for being an alleged predator. There's just a lot that, like I said, that was hovering over this guy, so to speak allegations they were just not a good look and you know people will go back and forward and say oh well I want to be with this person I want to be with this person but at the end of the day you have to be mature if you're a celebrity you know you're somebody with a lot of influence are you really going to risk your reputation and I'm not trying to make it seem like oh you're so good that you can't be with this person but if you think that this person could be you know guilty of what's going on here and apparently allegedly this guy put out a whole apology post which really had me feeling disturbed and questioning him and doja but even if they have the stigmas attached to them that's just not good because your reputation your credibility is now at risk but anyways a lot of people have been pointing out that you know well some people have been pointing out that oh this is not usually how doja is but then there are some day one people who have been saying this is exactly who she is and if you were paying attention from day one you would not be surprised by this but you know all in all a lot of this stuff that she's been doing lately has been just off the deep end and they think that she may be going through something behind closed doors that's causing her to act this way of course not to excuse any kind of bad behavior you know but they feel like something you know must be going on or going wrong with her or in her life now remember like i said before she did say she wanted to quit music you know we don't all know what goes on you know behind the scenes in the music industry we all know that it's not always good you know it's not sunshine and rainbows like how some people would make us believe there's no telling who or what she's had to deal with like I said, still not excusing any bad behavior. I don't personally believe, and some other people have said this on the internet, that Doja Cat really wants to be famous anymore or that she can really handle what comes with fame. Some people went so far as to even say that they feel like she's trying to get out of the music industry or quit music by being rude to her fans, by destroying her fan base, by acting this way. You know what I'm saying? But Anybody should know if you've researched the music industry, you've been around people, the music industry yourself. I don't think it works that easily. Whatever she's done, whatever deal she's signed, if you get my drift, I don't think disrespecting her fans and making them not want to buy her music anymore in hopes that, you know, her label will drop her. I don't think it works that cleanly if you get my drift. If that is the case, what she needs to do is call on the Almighty because quite frankly, he's the only person who would be able to help her in that situation. But anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think and how y'all feel down in the comments below respectfully. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all have a blessed day.